In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Seven Days to Die on Alpha 20. So it's the it's 10 o'clock in the game on the same day that last episode ended on. And I am going to do a nighttime restore power quest. Now, I will tell you guys, I added another mod to the game. So currently, I have the mod that moves health bars and gives me this nice UI over here, and then lockable slots over here. There, I found a mod out there that removes the wires in the game unless you have a wire tool in your hand. I, I don't like the look of all these wires, so it doesn't change the functionality. All the wires, you still have to have a wire going from A to B, it's just when you take the wire tool out of your hand, you can't see the wire anymore. It, it's just to make the base look a little better. It's a beautiful beautification thing. I don't like modding the game to change the way the game works, but I don't mind modding the game for a better player experience. I think that's more than fair. Do I want to pre-loot any? I don't know this POI enough. I love how the power just and the power goes out. Okay, so the fun pimps want me to go a certain way. You know what I say to that? Bunk with all that. I will go my own way. I don't know why I put it back to box when I was immediately going to do that, but oh well. Now I do have to clear the area, so even though I'm uh doing this right here i'll probably have to, <laughs> i'll probably have to go through all the places but if i can get a, a cheeky shot in on a spawned in uh bird of prey i appreciate that I still would like to find, oh, I did forgot to look for that. I still want to find a mod that takes away the zombies are here um, indication. I think that would be really nice. I didn't come up here because I knew this was up here. I honestly did not know there was a, a power generator, but I figured I'd just get a, a quick way to circumvent some of the traps that the uh, fun pimps have sent for us in this POI. Anytime I can subvert the fun pimps uh, tomfoolery, I will. Anybody down here I need to worry about before I start this thing? I should probably clear this roof as well before I touch that generator. Eddie. He was sleeping, and I didn't want to wake him up. Okay, so this goes to the garage. Okay, just a dead body. Over. I don't see any more flying dogs. Yeah, I hate the vultures, a.k.a. why they are my thumbnail for the year. Or for the season, I should say. Vultures be damned. Now, I don't want to take the vultures out of the game. I think they're, they serve a, a, a really good pur purpose. Every time I go on, okay, there's a dog house, but I don't see any dogs. I don't trust that. What do you bet that as soon as I go down there, dogs spawn in? I'm not, I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to say that that's exactly what's going to happen. Anytime there's a dog house. Like anytime I go on a roof, I expect there to be uh, a flying vulture, flying dog. If I don't see one, now I'm looking for tomfoolery. Where are you hiding it? You know, what corner is this flappy flappy going to come out? But now I know the sound of when they spawn into the world. So it's a lot easier. Well, the roof's clear. I might as well go ahead and get the generator started. It doesn't seem to wake up or call zombies in. I know somebody was 
wondering if that was a possibility. I don't think it is. It would be kind of cool. Maybe at a, a higher tier level that this, uh, that these kind of quests, you have to bring repair supplies with you. Or the, oh, okay, here, here, here it is. The trader gives you uh, some supplies, a little component, some forged uh, iron to, uh, for a, a repair kit. You know, a specialized repair kit just to fix and some gas. And you have to refill the generator and fix the generator as well. Make it more involved. I mean, I'd rather I have to repair. I think we kind of... Not that I want to use my own resources. Take out the crawler before he moves. I don't know why it just lightened up all of a sudden, but I got a bad feeling about this. There's a drop ceiling. I was already up in the uh, on the roof, and there's not a zombie up there unless one just spawned in now. I guess that's possible. But they did. Whoa. He's moving. I don't know where he's coming from. <laughs> he went goopy. He went goopy. <laughs> now you're getting shot in the back, buddy. One more. That'll do ya. So yeah, that's the next mod I need to look for. Turn off the zombie uh, warning system. You know, make the game hard again. Not that it's not difficult in an area. Oh, cloth covering. That's all. Okay. Make sure there's no zombies in the uh, front area. Mega crush. Nope. But I tried. Coffee's good. Well, let's look. Are you hiding anything in there? It's got a bulletproof glass front, so it makes me curious. Okay, I'll go one layer deeper. No, it's not hiding anything in it. Okay. Uh, nothing good in the toilet. Isn't that the case with life, though? There's always nothing good in the toilet. I mean, when's the last time you can honestly say you found something good in the toilet? How many of you actually look in the toilet to see if there's anything good? Actually, don't answer that question. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked it. Okay. Did those dogs spawn in yet? Because I guarantee you there's going to be a, a dog, at least, that's going to spawn down there. I just have this bad feeling because it's a junkyard, it's enclosed, and there's a dog house. That tells me there's dogs in there. Or at least a dog. All right, so that's bulletproof glass. Can I see anything? Oh, there's a Kenny, but I can't. How thick is the roof? Oh, my God, the roof is like well it's wood <laughs> i don't care if it's covered like the opening is covered in bulletproof glass if i can just open up the roof and shoot kenny in the head uh -huh, i've got an in i'll open up this entire roof to find everybody hiding in here Well, I should be careful. I don't want to collapse the roof and break loot or anything. But there's a lot of dots down there. Oh, there's a young lady hiding behind a loot container. She don't have a head no more. Anybody in office? Ah, I do see somebody right there. Oh, 
started to fall in, got me a little concerned. <laughs> Sneak attacks with the crossbow is really nice. It does a lot of damage, so it's a great way to... Okay, so there's a zombie right below here. I mean, if I have the dots, I'm going to use the dots, but I still think it'd be kind of cool to have a, a mod where... Why am I using my wrench to open up, you know, what I should be using my axe for? Ah, ooh, it's a spider too. I definitely prefer getting a, a sneak attack kill on that. All right, two more right below here. <laughs> this is cheesy than, you know, cheesy as hell, but the game cheats all the time. And if I can get a one up on the game every once in a while, I think I deserve it. You know, I'm, I'm making the effort here. Oh, cheeky little hidden uh, book bag up here, huh? Hiding in the ceiling that you probably wouldn't find unless, you know, you either went, you know, bottom up or. Okay, so this is like a secondary ceiling I'm not going to be able to get through. Okay, I think that's enough cheesing of the zombies. I've cleared out a good number of them. Oh, okay. So that would have been the key for all those zombies that I already uh, took out, probably to come rushing in. As as soon as you land on this car, it just sets them off. Come on, zombies, where are you? Now the question is, do you know where I'm at or are you just, oh, two more dots just showed up out. You know what? I, I bet those are those, the dogs I thought that were gonna spawn outside. So the question is, do you know where I'm at or are you just beating on something to beat on something? Okay, there's dog house. That, that definitely told me there's, well, there's a wolf or a dog. Whoa. All right, I'm moving. Hello. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Not only are you running, you're feral. Supposed to run because it's middle of the night, but don't have to be, oh, got behind me. Hello. Stay down. Okay, the area is area is clear. I heard a wolf, but maybe it wasn't a dog. All right, let's get this started. So I, at least I have the quest done. So if something, I still don't trust it. I'm. I have a feeling. I have this this itch in the back of my head that says. That even though it says it's clear, as soon as I push that button, dogs are going to spawn into that, um, near that dog house. Ooh. What is my loot stage right now? My loot stage is 35. Okay. Probably tier three quests. Um, I'm going to start carrying my eye candy with me. So... I push my uh, loot level above the, I think 50 is the next. I don't know if a loot candy will push me over that. But if I'm in a tier three, it might. Passing gas has, ooh, oil recipe. Not a bad recipe to have. Okay, tier six armor. Nice. Let's swap these. I had left my bandages. Um, I've moved about probably half my current base over to my new location. I haven't done anything in the new location. I just move stuff right now. Uh, keep that. I don't want to be over encumbered. In case there are dogs, I might need to run. And I don't want to be so over encumbered that I can't, you know, outrun the dogs at least partly. Partly. Nothing in there. No recipes. 
I do want to get... Oh. The plastics. If I'm going to be making the uh, steel-tipped arrow... Um, having uh, a lot of plastic is really, really required. And since you can't uh, dig for plastic... And you can't make plastic. You have to uh, loot it and scavenge it. And with that said, I I don't usually do it, but I might start putting some points into fortitude of all things. Oh uh, no, is it? It's not fortitude. What is it? It is ah. Well, perception. I wanted to put points into anyways because I wanted to get penetrator. At least a couple levels of penetrator because it works with bow and arrows. So I need level six. That's a pretty big investment. At least two ranks for sure. But I want to put points into salvage operation. Seven if I want to get all. Because I want to get, when I do harvest stuff, I want to harvest faster, of course. But I want to harvest more. All right, looks like the main loot is done. I've already got some. I'll take it with me. I just wanted to check my inventory. Oh, I'm not leaving the sandwich behind. I learned my lesson on sandwiches. Sandwiches are good. Do not leave sandwiches behind. Last playthrough, I was constantly just throwing these sandwiches. Ah, get, get that sandwich out of my inventory. Yeah, I learned. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Bulletproof? It is bulletproof. Okay. Well, I called for dogs and I don't want to shy away from the dargy apocalypse that awaits me. Can I? Ooh, I can duck under that. I'm surprised. Can I get to that button? I can get to that button without actually going down there. <laughs> I don't see a dog. That doesn't mean Jack or Jack. But currently, I'm not seeing a, a dog. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there's doggies. There's doggies. Just calm down. Just keep shooting. Oh. Those things didn't spawn in until I got up here. I hopped up, and that's when I heard it. Where were they? Were they hiding behind the cars? See, I think this... Ooh, thank you. I think that sport bag is what's supposed to, to draw you in. You're like, oh, look, a sports bag. And then you run out to get the sports bag. Uh, Okay, that's a wolf. You know, that's not very nice, mister. You scared the ever bejeet Oh, God. Oh, so sorry. I just took your head off. You know, actually, he's going to help me out because he's going to make my exit a little easier. Hush, little wolf. Don't say a... Well, you can't say a word. You no longer have a head. Yeah, I'll take the lead. I already got some on me. Always search cars. You never know what you're going to find inside. Sometimes you get some really good loot in a car. Especially in the tougher biomes. Definitely search cars. Um, You're a scrap. Scrap cake. Okay, well, I am going to get back to moving my base. And we'll reconvene together when, it is, when the traders are open. Because tomorrow... It's Trady Restock Day. And I want to see what the traders might have. I've got everything moved from my old base to the new base. Nothing is set up in the new base. I just put up some uh, regular storage containers in uh, the very beginning of where I'm going to live. And just threw all my stuff in there. Um, I grabbed this stuff that I have for sale. And I want to go visit the traders today. They just opened up a moment or two ago. I wanted to check this box and see if there's any sellables in it. No. And I don't think there's anything in the other box. So let's grab 
everything that I um, possibly will sell. I'm not going to use my uh, grandpa's awesome sauce or I'll, I could use the sugar butt, so I'm not gonna use the awesome sauce until either something I really big I wanna buy or I have a lot of stuff to sell and I'm trying to make a, you know, a big buttload of money. No public bathrooms here and don't be oh, well, peeing on the floor. Wasn't my intent, but thank you for telling me. Um. Oh, crappy trader. Nothing good, mister. Nothing good. Secret, secret stash. Night Stalker ver uh, number two. That's a, a possible buy. I see the turrets. I'm not ready for... I don't need turrets yet. I'm not going to use that money. Oh my god. Okay, remember how I said I wasn't going to be using my uh, my stuff unless there was something I really... Yeah. Take that. Use that. Talk to me, mister. Talk to me. Let's sell 14,000. I'm doing good. And I have a robotic drone schematic. I can only make a level one, but guess what? It doesn't matter. Even a level one drone, especially if you can get the... Uh, the mod that gives you the uh, additional storage for that drone is flipping awesome. That's all it takes. Those are the, the this, those two components and you have additional storage. Now, well, it does try to kill time. you occasionally. You had to try to push me off a, a ladder once or twice. But beyond that, the drones can be helpful. And it can get in your way too. But overall, it's a helpful thing. Art of mining, I already know. Fish tacos, I already know. Batter up, I'm not interested in. And that is it in your normal stash. I only do business with real with customers. Real. Okay. Granted, I didn't buy too many things from you. But I did buy things from you. Now, that's why I've been keeping the robotic parts that I have so that I can make myself a drone if I got lucky and found the schematic. Didn't think I'd find it from the trader that early. Okay, that's a tier three. That's supposed to be like, you need to go to find an actual drone. You need to go out to the wasteland. Um, maybe the winter biome at a high game or a high loot stage using loot candy and a tier four EOI. You might see something like that. Um, the actual drone itself. I don't know when the schematic can drop. Now, once again, I can only do a tier one, which means it has a single modification slot. But that's more than enough for my needs. At least as far as I'm concerned. For Sora. Here you go, friend. What um, another robotic sludge as a backup. Uh, that actually might be a good idea just in case, or I can carry one with me and use it when I'm out and about, depending on what type of uh, POIs I'm going into. Let's buy the bow parts because I always should buy bow parts when I see them. Um, oh, I'll take the corn because it's going to be cheap. I only have a few minutes, but I'm going to be practical and, and go for food and stuff like that first. Urban combat, I know. Bottle of acid, always buy. Even if you already have your stuff, you never know. Um, volume 4 is not the good. Oh, SMG turret schematic. Yes, I will buy that. Night Stalker, not interested. Six. Not something I want to spend money on now. I'll have to make some sensors. I think I know how to make I motion sensors. Let me check real gun, quick. S-E-N for sensor. Yes, I know how to make them, and they're not bad. All right. Um, do I, hold on. Let me grab a job from you just so I can have one available. Um, fetch and clear Can really close. Me with a little problem. No need to uh, I just did a ranch. I'll check my other sources. Uh, let's I do something different. Do Country I business zero two. Okay, to cool. So I'm going to head over to Trader Jen. Most of, oh, do I have gas? Hold on. Do I have gas in here? No, I don't. I need to head over to the uh, house and grab gas. Then I'm going to get over, over to Trader Jen and see what she has. I didn't check his uh, non-secret stash. 
I'll get back and I'll check his non-secret stash. Then we'll go over to Jen. I still have to see if anybody has a crucible or the crucible schematic. Come on, Jenny girl. Have what I want. Have what I need. So, have what I most desire. What are you buying today? What are you selling today? I know that's corny as hell, but I couldn't resist. I still have a minute and almost two minutes before they can't, uh, the candy runs out. My sugar butt. More boar parts. Buy them. Uh, motorcycle. I've got one, but thank you, dear. Um, four by truck. Not my thing. Tier two pistol. Yeah. <laughs> Just brighten my day. Where? I, help you. I, don't, I need to save money for a crucible. And I'm hoping somebody will have it. A ratchet. That's tempting, but once again, books, knowledge, I'll spend money on. No crucible. Okay. Volume three. Acid from cars. This is actually a really good one. My Before my uh, candy runs out, I should buy that one. And then that is it. Okay. So new crucibles from my uh, from my traders this time. There's always next time, and I can just find the recipe still too. Alrighty then. Stay cool. Safe out there. Let's check the. Mm, I probably should start buying these. At least leave one in my uh, motorcycle unless in case something comes up. Oh God! <laughs> Sorry, dear. I didn't mean to to blow your mind like that. It was completely unintentional. Her head just went. <laughs> and no, I'm not making that sound again. You get it once per episode if it happens, and so you have to take what you can get. I am going to head off to the. I mean, I don't have a full inventory, so I'm gonna head off to that uh, quest because I want to get some good quest reward. Okay, this is weird. Joel is sending me to a quest in my old town again. I, you know, when it was a restore power quest, it made some sense. But these towns are so small that my traders keep sending me back and forth between them because their town doesn't have the... Uh, Okay, so it's the post office slash appliance store. Okay. No problem, Amos. Let's drop the stuff I probably won't need in here. Let's go ahead and use that. It's always a good book. I know I was trying to say I need to, you know, I'm trying to save money so that I have it for Crucible and stuff, but that book right there can give me acid from risk wrenching a car. And that can be the difference of me making a motorcycle and not making a motorcycle. Or crafting something else. How many points do I have right now? I have four points. I am sitting on four points. Do I want to go into... Living off the land. I still think it's too early for me to move into that two points here and I can get another point in sexy T possible mother load. That's an idea. Or I can get two points into run and gun and two points into parkour, which will help my overall game. This one helps with hip fire accuracy and improved movement and reduce the movement penalty when reloading by 30%. And then, of course, parkour lowers the amount of stamina necessary for jumping and allows you to jump an additional meter, which is really cool for getting in and out and around places. Mm, theory of blows. Each kill recharges stamina by 30%. Now, I've seen this work for somebody who's, I think it was uh, Games for Kicks using a bow. I don't know if it was just a quirk or if it's supposed to work like that. Um, that would take level seven, which I don't know close. So I think two points in a run and gun and two points into parkour might be. God, I really want to get my uh, gunslinger up. Um, 
Enemies are getting tougher. Okay, I'm going to put... I'm going to do the parkour. I'm going to do the run and gun. But then my next three points are going into gunslinger. I think. So this will help when I'm trying to run away and, and reload. And this will help me control my environment and be able to jump over obstacles to avoid zombie. Or literally jump over a zombie and then shoot it in the back. Oh, crap. I didn't activate the rally point. <laughs> I'm going in like... Oh, I need to go get, uh, I need to get this done. And I'm like forgetting that this is a quest. I need to activate it. Hey, Kenny, that was a premature, uh, premature awakening. Go back to sleep, mister. Hopefully that doesn't screw my quest over because I activated the zombie before I activated the quest. Well, if I do, well, whatever, I'll just, you know, if it feels like it did, I could always just uh back out you know start the game over again uh, close the game and reload it and that'll reset the quest worst case scenario okay several zombies hey arlene how you doing give me that bolt back and take that one while you're at it i don't think i'm gonna get any sneak in this time Oh. Okay. I'm going to take the junk for now. I'll just throw it out here in a few. Grab these so I can break them down later. Oh, jeez. Edgar. That was a good spot for you. I was going for the button and never even noticed you were there. Oh, this is one of those nighttime quest ones. Well. Oh, good water. I'll leave the bandage. I don't need it. Okay. The... Ah, it's in a pluck. Really easy to grab that stuff when you have parkour because you just jump so well. Is that it in here? Is there nothing more? Back of trash. Anything I can see over there that I can kill now and save myself trouble later? Either there isn't or just nothing spawned in yet. My guess is nothing spawned in yet. I could have sworn I heard a flap when I stepped up here. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just paranoid. We all know I'm paranoid once I get on a roof. I did hear the flap. I did hear the flap. You guys didn't believe me. How could you? Question my flap detection system. It's unflappable. I don't pump pump. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Next. Okay. I know you want me to drop in there, but I see a dog kennel and I don't play that game. You want me to go a certain way, but don't want to do it. Hey, Edgar, you shouldn't sleep on a roof, my friend. You're going to get really, really... Ooh, there's a lot of zombies. I just woke up half the world down there, it feels like. Five, six zombies at least. Okay, let's go back here and try to find this mutt. Like I said, when I see a dog kennel and I don't see a dog right away, it tells me the fun pimps have, have put the dog in a, either it doesn't spawn until you get close or in a place where you just can't see it. Like on the other side of that dumpster or somewhere under that tarp. I 
I hear them breathing and reacting to my movements, but they're not waking up yet. Okay, this might be a mistake. Does that have barbed wire? Oh, okay. I was gonna, I was just gonna walk on the fence. You know what? I'll go right on the tarp. Nice and quiet, like. Come on, wake up. I know I'm trying to make. I'm like, I'm gonna be all nice and quiet. And then I'm like, I'm making noise. Wake up, please. I knew it. You know what? F you, dog. Okay, so that was the dinner bell. Here comes the participants at today's feast. Come here. Oh, take it right in the face, mister. You know what? I'm going to give you an extra an extra helping. How about that? Well, I'm surprised I didn't wake up when the dog alerted, but maybe I was able to take him out stealthily enough. Did I miss? I don't know if I hit him or miss. It was inadvertent. Oh, I took her leg off, though. I didn't miss that one. That's right. Another skill point. Oh! That was close and personal and made your head go splatters. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not that quick, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I can do loud and proud. I just prefer sneaky and stealthy and maximum amount of damage per shot. You spawned in. You spawned in. I looked over the counter. I didn't see you. I could have missed him. Okay. Queer. Uh, my loot stage is over here isn't good enough. I'm not going to waste a candy. Oh, a rad maneuver remover. You know, the great thing about rad maneuver uh, remover is it can go. You can't put that. You can't have both. Oh, I did not know that. Modify. I'll put that in there. Wait. Darn, my bow really needs a buff. And I'm not finding what I need to buff my bow. And my bow feels, you know, still powerful, but, you know, it's feeling a little on the limp side. It's begging for a buff. And who am I to deny my bow a buff? I don't know about you, but I like to buff my bow in the morning. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Don't leave. It was a joke. I couldn't resist, but it was a joke. Always search the trash. You never know what you're going to find. Was there a zombie hiding in the boxes? Because if that's if that's a new zombie hiding area, that's actually really genius. Because we rush toward those to loot them. And if a zombie popped out of one, I probably... Uh, soil myself and have to excuse myself to, uh, to clean. Whoa! To clean up. Ooh, four steel. Nice. Oh, this is only a tier. Well, the building is a tier one, but this is a tier two quest. You're not worth anything, so you just get scrapped. I'll take you. What are you going to have? A wrench that can be sold. Unless I want to make another uh, workbench. No reason to keep extra wrenches. Especially since I've already got a tier four. Savage country. Some kind of clothing item, I'm guessing. Ooh. Where? Oh. Nice upgrade, too. Complete. Where? This is a quick way to, without going into your character menu, to... Change stuff around if you didn't know. That's why I do that. Take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on. Okay, that's decent. And we are heading back to the trader. 
search the car real quick. Oh, airdrop. And it sounds like it's almost just overhead. Could not see you at all. Just the clouds. Ah, oh, darn. I was hoping that was dropping in the uh, winter biome. So I have a better uh, loot for it, a lo uh, loot level for it. We'll grab that, then I'll head to the trader. And. Okay, um, I am just going to eat the sham. Tasty little sham in the uh, taste of sham in the morning. God, that sounded horrible. Let's get back to the trader. Then we'll see um, that is a weapons bundle of some sort. Um, but I didn't I didn't look to see what weapon it was. I will keep you in suspense and myself, too, because I don't know. This box is full of crud stuff I could have sold, too. I did not remember that this stuff was all over. I thought I got everything out of here when I was moving. So I had more stuff to sell. I thought I had some more stuff like that double barrel shotgun that I thought I might sell. Well, that answers the question I was wondering is where were my boxes too? <laughs> okay. Pipe rifle, pipe rifle. Okay. It's a tier five pipe rifle, but it's a pipe rifle. Single shot. Ugh. Ugh. But it would sell for 162. I don't know. I don't know if that's something that I want in my life. I'm not, I'm not using it ranged. I'm using a bow or a crossbow. I don't, I think I'm beyond a pipe rifle. So I'll just save it till the next time I'm selling stuff to the trader. Wooden bow. I've already got one. Armor plating mod, I guess, would be the best because it's useful. I could sell the wrench for 300. Scrap the bow, but I just bought a lot of bow parts. So I'll take the armor pointing mod. Not really makes me happy, but I can do it. Would you kindly help me? Store hardware. Brilliant. Okay, that's a good one. Let's check your by the jailbreakers. By the rock busters. We'll have to be doing some of that here soon. Um, how much room do I have on my bike? I've got all the room in the world. Well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't look at it that way. I probably need to go drop some stuff off at the house real quick. Now I know some people might be going, oh my God, I didn't take anything out of my bike. I know some people might be going, oh my God, oh my God, you got the drone schematic. Make the drone, make the drone. I will. I probably... Look and see if I have the required parts, which I'm pretty sure I do. Or I can make what I don't have available on me immediately. Um, but I'll probably do that at night. I don't, I need a workbench for it. I haven't uh, laid out uh, how the base is going to look up here. And I really want to kind of get that done first before I start just throwing stuff down. If I could, you know, help it. I'm going to take that with me. And, oh, you know what? Let's grab coffee. And where is my cooked food? Should have boiled meat. There we go. We'll eat two of these. Drink this and then head out. That way my, uh, my food and water level should be almost maxed out, if not close to being maxed out for the, the run. Hey, did you like that move? Did you like that move? Please tell me this isn't in, back in my... Oh my god, it's in my old town again. Why does Joel keep sending me over here when I want to do the high loot stage? I guess there's not a lot of tier 2... Um, I am on tier twos, right? Yeah, tier two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so tomorrow's first quest, I'll finish his tier two quest line with him. Then he'll probably send me to Jen. 
and I'll have to do tier three to find the next because I'm hoping that trader hopping you know do the quest lines with some traders get to the point where I, I finish the final quest with them and they send me to a new trader might help me lead me to other towns maybe that I haven't been to but with my luck they'll send me to another gen okay well, we've seen this place um since I know the video is getting long I will show you guys the highlights on this one I think Well, I got to the final loot. The run was really fun. I was jumping over zombies and stabbing them in the back or jumping over them and uh, suiting them from behind. It was really fun. Parkour can really, really makes this uh, build come to life. I don't think you want to do an agility. Ooh, there's a book. An agility build without parkour. And there's a good... Oh, so the one I have is better. Oh, because the one I have is wood, a, a leather. I've got a leather coming on. Okay. But that's still nice. Tier six. So it's not tier six that I wanted, but still tier six. Lots of motor tool parts. Nice. If I find another recipe that could use it. I'm not going to forget this box this time. Ooh, nice. Some more steel. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend the time grabbing. If I did, it'll be at night. I'll come back over. It's really safe over here for me. I can handle myself on, on in this area really good. I'm still a little concerned at night in, well, not a little. I'm concerned about doing too much at night in the winter biome. That biome is definitely, uh, hostile to my survival in the game. If I'm not careful, way too many spider zombies over there. Especially running around at night. But I did want to show you the loot in here. Just in case I got something really 
you know, nice. I didn't want you guys to think that I spawned it in or something stupid like that. So, ah. I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just... I want to do quests over there, Joel. Stop sending me over here. Maybe all my tier 3 quests will be over there. Um, Check the trash and check the car before I leave. Nope. No good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here. I've been Critical. This has been 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.